So what's next, Brian? What's the plan? Well, I'm gonna find somewhere to drop you off, then I'm gonna pawn this fancy sword and armor and try to find a new gig. But, uh, I thought the mission was It's to a lost cause, Podrick. We're never gonna find them. What do you want to do? Just start asking every idiot that we meet if they've seen the Stark girls? Hey, what about you, kid? Y you ever happen to bump into Sansa or Arya Stark? Actually... Now that you mention it, I traveled around with Arya Stark for about two years. Man, did we ever have some great adventures together. There was this one time we got captured by a band of outlaws who was gonna ransom Arya to her family, but then she got kidnapped by the Hound and I haven't seen her since. You know what, come to think of it, they say the Hound has been seen a whole bunch of times in this area recently. I think the King put a big bounty on his head or something? Apparently he's been traveling with some teenage girl. Hey, maybe that girl is Arya Stark. Nah, probably not though. Probably all just a huge coincidence. Anyway, it's been nice chatting with you folks, but I've got to get back to work. Toodles! Alright, fine. So that's how you kill a man. Believe me, I've done it enough times. Oh yeah, sure. Just like how you're always aware of your surroundings and nobody could ever sneak past your guard, huh? I've already told you that was an isolated incident. I was in a deep sleep and it will never happen again. You can count on that. Oh, fuck. Come on! Okay, Dario, what's the deal? How come you've been acting so weird lately? Are you even the same Dario? I have a many name. Some of people call me Benjamin. Some of people call me Euron. Some of people call me Howland. But the, who cares about that? You wanna do some fucking or what? <sighs> All right, fine, whatever. Take off your clothes. Yippee! Hey, Pazan, guess who just the fuck at the Khaleesi? It's a me, Dario. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. The night goes on. Is it trial by combat? Really? I know, I know. At the time, it seemed like a good idea. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, Bron fought for me once. He'll do it again. What do you mean you won't do it again? Sorry, mate, I can't swing it. I've just made a deal that will keep the Lannisters out of my air forever. You've made a deal to betray me? No, 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 no. Not to betray you. Technically. Just to refuse to help you. It amounts to the same thing. Look, I know it's a bummer. But believe it or not, I'm not all that enthusiastic about the prospect of fighting the mountain. Oh, and he is down, folks! Next up, we've got Bill from White Harbor. Bill is a father of three. He enjoys building model trains and... Oh, never mind! Who is next? Right here, we've got Ted from Gull Town trying out the old begging for mercy tactic. It doesn't usually work, but maybe today will be the... No, Ted is out of commission. Uh, looks like Gregor is getting a visitor, so we're going to take a quick commercial break. But don't touch that dial. We'll be right back with more Mountain Mayhem! John Bro, the Night's Watch has been low on funds lately, as you well know. We don't have nearly enough of a budget right now for that dire wolf of yours to be hanging around where people can see him all the time. Go on, get him out of here, now! Stupid bogus budget. Khaleesi, the man is not trustworthy. Remember the time he betrayed his two partners and brought you their severed heads? Ugh, I know, wasn't that romantic? I wish he would, like, keep doing things like that. Lately, he just keeps giving me stupid flowers. You know how it goes, though. Once a man, like, swears fealty to you or whatever, all of a sudden, he's a totally different person. All I'm saying is that it's literally been months at this point. I'm sure that if all those wildlings you told us about were really as close behind you as you claim they were, they'd have attacked us ages ago by now. I mean, for God's sake, how long has it been since you recovered from all of those arrow wounds you had when you showed up? You're right, I have no idea what's taking them so long, but I'm telling you, they are coming and we need to prepare. Don't you other bros believe me? No. Prince Oberyn, to what do I owe the pleasure? Ah, uh, nothing much, man. I just came to hang out. I don't really have any friends in this city. Right. So, your girlfriend seems nice. 
Hmm, yeah, I mean, she's okay. Actually, I kind of want to break up with her, but I'm afraid of what she might try to do to me or my family, you know? That chica is fucking crazy. Oh, believe me, I know what you mean. When I broke up with my last ex, she tried to have me killed by giving a false testimony against me in a murder trial. Oh, sh**, that's right, I was there for that. Uh, sorry about that, cabron, that's rough. Uh, no biggie. The whole thing was rigged from the start, anyway. At least now I get to go down swinging, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what? You're a pretty cool guy, amigo. How about I be our champion, eh? Then after that, we can travel around the world drinking and whoring and plotting revenge against your entire family. What do you say? Oh my gods, did we just become best friends? Yup! 